Hi besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel TV Scoop Entertainment where I'll be bringing the latest scoop in South Africa. There's a guy by the name of Kanyim Kasela. He is being accused of allegedly sexually abusing his fellow schoolmates all in the name of my father holds a leadership position in DA and no one can touch me. So far more than 10 girls have come forth and shared their stories on different social media platforms alleging that Kanye allegedly raped them or sexually harassed them in one form or another. One story is when the girl said that she reported the incident to the school teacher to which the school teacher said that anything that happens between the breaks is none of her business upon close inspection of Kanye's social media twitter in particular one can clearly see that Kanye regards women as nothing but object and not as individuals hashtag Kanye must fall and hashtag Kanye must be arrested uh, actually training at this moment and as of recent there is a message touched that is supposedly Kanye informing one of his friends that he is about to commit suicide and my question to that is why commit suicide when you have been saying that you are innocent and you have never sexually abused any girl tips were quick to note that Back in 2010 and 2011, the father of Kanye was accused of raping a 17-year-old girl and his defense to that was that he is too sexy to rape someone. Upon surfacing of Kanye must fall stories, Tweeps actually said that, you know what, an apple does not fall far away from the tree. Here's a clip of a brave girl who is telling a story about being allegedly raped by Kanye in a church. This guy and I were friends, you know. Nothing was sexually between us. Um, nothing happened between me and him, you know. Um, we we're just friends, you know what I'm saying? We we're just casually friends. And then, so this happened in Hillsong. If you guys don't know what a Hillsong is, Hillsong is a church place where people go, you know, Fridays. People go there, you know what I'm saying? So, um... I don't want to go into depth about what happened that day, but I can tell you one thing. Um, there is evidence, okay? I've been to the police, you know. Um, his cum was on my tights. Um, the sad part that hurts me is that he stole denying it. Um, I want to see if I can post what he's saying so he is saying that my real friends know that I'm not a rapist you know um, I've never raped or forced myself on a girl those who really really know me will speak up and stand by me I want you guys to know that what he's saying is not true okay there are girls who are like me who who sit there um um my parents know about this okay um i'm thinking you know maybe this year will be a clean slate you know what i'm saying um maybe you know I won't have to see him again, you know, I've blocked him from my WhatsApp, I've blocked him from everywhere, you know what I'm saying? But the friends I'm friends with, they always post him. Every day, they post him. I have to see his face every day on people's stories, you know?